back pain and, and low back pain in particular is, is, is really the most common um, complaint of working people uh, worldwide uh, across virtually all industries. Uh, so it's an enormous problem. And farming is interesting because people use all types of machinery to, to get done what needs to happen on the farm. Vibrating equipment can place demands on the back that can increase one's chances of experiencing back pain down the road. So it's not surprising, but we observed that agricultural machinery does expose people to relatively high levels of, of vibration. Uh, we did find some interesting differences between machine types. We found that combines were a little bit lower in vibration level and also most more consistent. Whereas something like a tractor or maybe a skid steer or an ATV may be used for all kinds of different things on the farm. And so we see a lot more variability in, in the vibration levels on those pieces of equipment. I will say that manufacturers have come a long way over the last few decades in terms of equipment design and seat design, especially seat suspension systems. Uh, there are new seats that act a lot like noise canceling headphones that sense the incoming vibration and emit a canceling vibration, which is really cool. The daily dose of, of vibration is related both to how strong the vibration is, but also the duration of use. Operating vibrating equipment is, is fatiguing, physically fatiguing for the back. I mean, you're shaking around and your body is constantly responding to that, trying to stabilize your spine. So one of the things that ergonomists have, have discussed for a long time is that as you get out of a machine after you've been in it for a period of time, uh, just walk around a little bit. Take a little break before you start lifting other heavy stuff because that uh, you don't need to be imposing other physical demands on your back after you've been in a vibration environment for a long time.